Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the very basics of your Chromebook. What is a Chromebook? We're going to take a look at the keyboard, how it's different from the keyboard on a, on a PC, and we're going to look at the touchpad and talk about how that works. Now, a Chromebook is really designed just to be able to go on the internet and specifically to do Google Chrome on the internet. So you can go to any web pages, anything that's on the web, you can access from your Chromebook. And also it's really designed to do the Google suite. So Google Classroom, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google, you get the idea. Um, and it's different because it doesn't have a big hard drive. So you're not gonna save a lot of stuff right to the machine. You're gonna save your stuff to your Google Drive, which is in the cloud, okay? There's no CD drive and it is lightweight and very easy to bring with you so you have easy access to your information. Now the keyboard is different. You will see there is no delete key up here. There's no caps lock key and there's no home and end keys. The top row is important to know. It will be helpful to you. You could actually survive without the top row except for maybe the power button, but um, there's some cool stuff to know. The escape key, if you're ever in full screen, the escape key brings you out. This lets you navigate the web, front and back arrows. This um, refreshes your browser, like you could do in the address bar. You have this little icon up there. It will also refresh your browser. This brings you to full screen. This, um, it says switch desktop mode. That just means when you press it, it will show all of your open windows on your desktop so you can click on the one you want to go to. These are your dimmers, okay, to for your brightness. These are your, um, this is for sound, mute, make it quieter, and then increase the sound. Here is the power button. On yours, it may look like a lock, but it's going to be the same thing. Okay, that's your top row. Now you're going to you want to use shortcuts that makes your life much easier. Now these are the ones these are also the same on a computer control C to copy control V to paste you can read that they're they're the same that are on a computer. There's also a link in this document that will bring you to a list of many more keyboard shortcuts that will make you more productive and help you get your work done more quickly. There's no delete key, so you can use alt and you hold the alt key down and type backspace and it deletes a character ahead of the cursor. Control plus the backspace deletes the previous word. Alt plus the search key will give you caps lock. Okay, there's no caps lock on there, but if you type alt and the search key, you which is just above the right around by the uh, shift key, um, that will allow you to do caps lock and then you just do that again to turn it off. And once again, I gave you a link here. Same thing here. No home row to get to the beginning and the end of a document. Alt up arrow, alt down arrow will bring you to the beginning or the end. You can also take a screenshot. Control plus this um, button on your your uh, the top row. That will take a screenshot of your whole screen. If you want to draw a square just around part of your screen, it would be control plus shift and then that button at the top touchpad there are no buttons on the touchpad one click with one finger is like clicking like that's a single click if you want to do a right click it's two fingers on the touchpad at the same time to do a right click to bring up a menu of options scrolling two fingers allows you to scroll two fingers up two fingers down will go up and down two fingers side to side will obviously go side to side. All right, so that is just the basics. Keep looking at the videos if you need some help learning how to navigate now. Hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can surely let us know.